Hi, this is Wayne with Fast Door Woodworking. Today's project is a cool one. It's a um, gymnastics springboard. My niece does gymnastics classes, but since the beginning of the quarantine, it has been infrequent that she can actually be in the gymnasium with her instructor. So my sister has been working to set up a home gym for her to use. So I picked up some project panels and an old yoga mat, and I ordered some gymnastics springs online. I'll put a link to the company that sells these in the description below. I begin by ripping two six inch strips from a piece of three quarter inch plywood. This will form the base of the springboard. Alright, so I have to cut this board down to 23 and 7 eighths. Alright. Um, once that is done, I can decide whether I need a board on the top as well to make up the extra 2 inches. Um, we want the top, the front of this whole thing to be between 6 and 8 inches tall. That way, when she jumps on it, she actually gets the full compression of the spring. Otherwise, she'll front load the spring and it won't be able to bounce back. Um, so let's cut this down to uh, 23 and 7 eighths. So in any like woodworking joint, the glue is what actually provides the strength in the joint. Mm -hmm. um, screws are basically just like temporary, like permanent clamps that are put in place. Um, wood glue is actually stronger than wood, so it's like one of the only glues that is stronger than the surfaces that it bonds. Mm. Um, it's kind of cool. It is cool. Tastes terrible. <laughs> Please include that in the video. <laughs> Tastes terrible, but good, good glue. Good glue. <laughs> Nothing better to join wood together. Again, terrible tasting. Yeah. Um, what I'm trying to work through right now is whether it is better to attach the springs now or whether it's better to attach the hinges for the top first. I don't think it should matter, but I might lay out the springs first and get all my heights correct. Even if I end up taking it all back and not mounting any of it yet, it will give me what like the measurements I need for the rest of this. So I'm going to lay out springs now. So I'm going to use six springs on this. It might be overkill and it might lend itself to being harder to compress. If that's the case, it's easy just to remove a couple of springs, but this is going out of state. So I don't trust my sister to be able to install additional springs. So I'm going to overbuild this and then allow them to take some of it back instead of underbuilding it and then I have to send them 
this and directions and warnings. way more. This is the benefit of laying everything out ahead of time before I attach everything. So now I know that these can sit here and apply some compression. That's gonna be f***ing dope. <laughs> Do you think I should put another board like this on the top? Yes. Or maybe even just a slice of this. I think, yeah. really cool that they have these like little plastic cups that this thing so I was the biggest thing I was freaking out about I was like how am I gonna attach these so I was trying to figure out like metal clamps that you can use on springs and stuff like that Wood glue is so bad, sawdust is so good. <laughs> So we're adding an extra sprain a little bit more than halfway across, hoping that will provide the board a little bit of support without taking away any of the bounce. I think they might end up taking two of the extra ones out. They just twist out, it's not very hard to do. But with the four there, it was throwing me pretty well. So I'm about 200 pounds and it had no problem. I think my niece is pushing 60 pounds, so I would be surprised if she can compress it. All right, so now we've got to figure out the best way to attach the yoga mat. I still kind of think it might be better instead of just doing it like that, which would be perfectly fine, I think, but it wouldn't look very nice i mean what do you think do you think that's what we should just do hmm. maybe i mean we have extra length maybe overlap like that a little bit that might be nice because we can staple down on that side and then mm -hmm. just carpet tape this whole thing in place not going to be the best thing to bond to a yoga mat, but I just want so that the yoga mat doesn't slide around while I drive a bunch of staples.
It's all done. I'm really happy with it. This thing is incredible. I might make the entire floor of the shop out of this stuff and just make danger shop. <laughs> I think my niece will love it. I think that they will likely need to take a couple of the springs out. This thing had no problem throwing me right into my air purifier. So this is a lot of fun. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you for watching.